hello it's Sarah and I am standing here to the entrance of my new craft room I wanted to do a little before um, but this is it this is our actually we have three living areas in this house the way it's designed it was really strange and this one we just never used it this is the fireplace that we never use and we use this room at Christmas that's basically it um but it was such a sweet pretty room and I'm like why are we never I know what I'm gonna do I'm making a craft room so craft craft room slash office that's what we're calling it so um sorry it's really nice out today here so I'm gonna try and I want to share what I've done I don't want to make you sick but I think I'm gonna put this tripod down that's this side of the room the couch is going most of the furniture is gone the tables are all gone um, I think I might keep this chair so we'll see and I got these cubbies this is what I want to share with you guys um, I'm gonna just try and set this down on the table here I have this little table and I'm going to go over into the shot, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, so I got these at my Lowe's. I've been watching all your videos, and if we had an Ikea nearby, I probably would have went to Ikea. I've seen the Expedit shelving these cubbies and um, the Alex, I think it is, desk, but we don't have an Ikea. I went to my Lowe's and I found these. These are made by Closet Made. And each, these 12 cubby ones were $59.98, 60 bucks. So I know the Expedit's way more than that. Um, I'm thrilled. I think this is approximately three by four. Um, and they fit perfectly on both sides of this door. So, I wanted this room because we're not just starting out. Like we're we've had you know we're established and have stuff. I wanted it to look nice. I've had the mishmash craft craft rooms before. Um, so what I wanted to do was take from where I have my craft room downstairs and bring it up into a more organized, neater looking space. And I'm thrilled. I'm so excited. I ended up getting these were from my Home Depot, but they're burgundy they're called barn and I didn't want to change my colors or anything in here and when I saw I just got them they were uh, $6.98 so $7 and I would have paid 10 because I just wanted this color and I got to go back and I'm gonna get six more because I've kind of got them here and there um, but these are just your average photo boxes these I got at AC Moore yesterday and I think I might go get a couple more of these because I love this pattern they were two for, I'm sorry, five for ten. So two dollars a piece for those. Um, but let me show you. I want to show you what this is capable of doing. Then I'm going to, and then I'll go over there. But this is, I had all my Tim Holtz stuff in here. This is a Sterling. Let me see if it says how much it holds. I don't know. Love these bins. Love them. And they worked really well on my, um, the wire racks I had downstairs. But this one right here has all the stuff that was in there is in here. And there's still room. Like I don't need that in there. This is my Tim Holtz stuff. I don't know if you can see that. All the, you know, I mean, and it's not even neatly put in here. Like I just kind of put it in here last night. So I can fit a ton more stuff. This is just like open packages that I had in that bin too, it fits. And look, boom, neat, out of the way. This is just like um, my Tim Holtz dies, and they were in one of those like shoe boxes. That just fit, I just put it in there. Um, I wanted to show you, oh, this is my cuddle bug, and this is just like, these are Sizzix, wait, what else, spell binders, some cuddle bug folders, and this bin that I, I think I got this at like Marshalls or something, and it fit, like it fits in there. So I just push that to the back and put my cuddle bug in front. Hidden away neat, because you don't use that all the time. When I need it, I know where to go. Um, the other thing I was going to say was this is from like the dollar store, these dollar store bins. And all my stamps, my Tim Holtz stamps were in here already, came over and actually this, I don't think I have, oh, do I have something in here? Yeah. Oh, I know what I put in here. See, and you know what I love about these two? 
they have labeling. You can label them. So this is all my, uh, these are my sh uh, alterations dies. Movers and shapers. So they fit in there. Cover them up. Now you have a cute box to look at. Put the stamps on top of that. Taken care of. Neatly. Out of the way. So excited, you guys. I just can't believe how this worked out. These are the, um, the alpha parts and stuff. So these are bigger. So these are over probably 12 inches. But look, you can still put them to the side of the cubby. It doesn't look bad. You know? So that's this side. I have some clay stuff down bottom, but I want to go over to the other side and show you because that's where my desk is going to be. So I'm going to go away and come back. All right. I'm going to pull the um, couch out of the way. Hopefully you can see me well enough because, um, yeah, I think so. Maybe I'll move a little closer. Hopefully my head will be. All right, so this is where my desk is going to go. My desk is going to go here, coming out. I'll be facing this way. There'll be cubbies up against the wall. The desk has cubbies attached to it that are bigger. They're bigger than these because these are only 10 and a half by 10 and a half. They're not big. And that was like one of the complaints that people said about it. But Martha Stewart made these to fit. Thank you, Martha. Um, <laughs> Because they were saying that you can't find bins that fit it. Are you kidding me? This is the Sterlite. Um, you know what? I don't know exactly the measurements on this. Three more thing. I got these yesterday. I think I'm going to go back and get like two more today. These were $8. And <coughs> I'm thrilled because I'm going to be sitting here. I'll turn around and I'll have access to my blade, to my metal pieces, to my flowers to, you know, this is my buttons, um, <clears throat> brads. I'm so excited. I'm, I can't, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I just am. <laughs> this is my wood veneers. It, it hasn't even, it's the bottom of this basket. It, it's like, seriously, like, I haven't even touched the surface. What else? Oh, these are just up here because, I don't know, I wanted to see what would fit. But these are from the Dollar Tree, and these are stackables. So even if you don't want to get these, go to the dollar store and you can get these to fit and you can have access. Like this is just some washi, I mean not washi tape. My washi tape one's still downstairs. This is um, team binding. Uh, and this is just my um, Tim Holtz um, the stress markers. But I just, I'm just putting that, I just wanted to see what would fit. Um, what else did I bring up here last night? Um, I have my, my crocodile is down there. More brads. Oh, I put all my adhesives. Is this my adhesives? One of these is my adhesives. Like your extra adhesives, not the ones that I use every day because that'll stay on my desk. Yeah, this is all my adhesives, like my extra that I, you know, I'm, if I run out of, I want my, my glue dots. I don't use them all the time. Red line tape, extra um, glue sticks, packing tape, shipping tape. My glossy accents, brand new glossy accents when I need it. So these are amazing too. These and you can get these cheap a lot. These um, oh, what are these called? Photo boxes. I just love this pattern because it played into the burgundy, but there were other colors, and you know I'm gonna be putting other colors probably because. Uh, so here's my crocodile brush, extra Q-tips because I use Q-tips um, to clean up with. So. Um, obviously this, my big kick doesn't fit, but it fits on top. And then I also have some room to, um, decorate, put, put a few things on top. So I'm going to spin around and go to this side. This is the six cube one. And I think this was $38.98. So around 40 bucks for that. And this is going to be where all my paint stuff is, uh, like, or, or mixed media, I should say. My gelatos, this is more brushes. I have, obviously, my brushes displayed up top. Um, my husband made that, <laughs> seeing that. Um, my Fabricastel pit pens. Um, what's in here? Oh, canvases. There's canvases in here. Eight by 10 canvases and just like chipboard and five by seven canvases. Not even filled at all. 
out of the way, don't know they're there, looks cute. This was just cool. I, I want to get back into painting and I probably will this year. Um, but this is just a basket that I made. I, oh, and by the way, I put these together by myself, all of them. I did use, my husband did give me the drill, like to drill the, the, the screws in, because that was like giving me like a blister. But once you have that, they're super easy to put together and they're sturdy. I mean, literally easy to put together. Like I was sweating, but, <laughs> and getting up and down is hard. He's got to help me put the desk together because that's going to be heavy. But this has my gesso, I'll have my gesso, my mediums, my Mod Podge, um, like antiquing medium, stuff like that, all that type of stuff for um, mixed media. And it fits in the basket. And then I just put the stuff I don't use that much back in the back. And there that is. So I'm so excited. Um, and I just wanted to share. So I'm going to definitely do... Uh, a follow-up on when it's finished because I'm gonna get a rug like I'm gonna get you know it'll take a minute for it to I mean I'll probably share before it's actually finished finished um, but I'm so excited look how happy like this is such a happy space I'll be in the house it won't be damp and won't be cold I'm so excited so I just wanted to share my happy news with you guys all right, thanks for watching.